the Constitution of Republic of Kenya is mandated that every five years there is an election and has mandated the people of Kenya to come and select or elect their people to make sure that there is democracy and there is fairness and transparency in that election. Today, as we speak, there is a democratic situation in Kenya, which allows people to express their views. And since President Uru Kenyatta took over, he has not curtailed, there's no political prisoner in this country, Kenya. But there are bottlenecks. One of the bottlenecks of our democracies in Africa is the criminal justice system. The entire criminal justice system of many African countries put us at loggerheads with the realities on the ground. For example, when we talk about the criminal justice system, most of the people in the world think it is only the police. But the criminal justice system involves the judiciary, the police, the prisons, the probation officers, the social workers who actually make reports. And above all, the director of public prostitution and the director of DCI. The police, of course, is a component, it's a central co component of the criminal justice system because they are the ones who arrest, prefer a charge or recommend to the DPP for prostitution. Without the police, we cannot do much. And therefore, they form the biggest component of our criminal justice system. But is this the criminal justice system that we see? What has killed the criminal justice system of the Republic of Kenya? Frank, frankly speaking and candidly, the criminal justice system of Kenya has been killed by the same constitution that put there that when you are arrested on a, an economic crime, you are taken to jail. Then given, not taken to jail, but give, taken to court, given bail, for example, you steal money on Friday, you are taken to court on Friday. On Tuesday, you are out of court with bail. You use the same money to pay and get a bail. And then on Wednesday and Friday, up to Friday, you are in Mauritius enjoying the same money. Because you go to the police station and sign for the whole of the period that the judges have told you to sign. Because there is no probation officer who follows what is at the police. That is a criminal justice system. Probation officers in Africa only appear at the last minute when they are going to sentence people at the court. But we are supposed to have probation officers on a daily basis supervising criminals, supervising court orders. And I don't know how many of you can remember that the thieves who stole the money in the FICA KCB bank are still on, are back on the streets of Nairobi and they could steal anybody's money anymore again. So these are some of the challenges that the governance and these are some of the challenges that the incoming president of Republic of, of Kenya who should be from my own liking, this is my opinion, Raira Amoro Dinga, of Azimio should work on to change the criminal justice system. A deterrent like that of Rwanda, a deterrent like that of Ethiopia, a deterrent like that in Uganda, for example, however bad the situation is, there is a deterrent that when you steal money from a government, you are not given bail for six months. The bail conditions come after six months, after your files, and everything has been investigated. This is the way I think Africa can fight corruption. We are talking of corruption, but we are making corruption ourselves every day. We arrest people. You can arrest the two men from Venezuela, for example, take them to court. The lawyers, high fly lawyers, flyers, they are already there at the DCI because they have been paid high money.
the morals, the integrity is already eroded. Until we bring back integrity, change the criminal justice system that is embedded in our constitution to make laws that can take the criminals who touch the government money, Africa will bleed. Thank you very much. That is my take.